Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to use existing group category to create a new group. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create security group category in Odoo side in the user level, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development with different topics available with the real task cases. And in case you have any doubt related Odoo and you need support, you can visit the about page and you, you can send your query to this email address. Plus source code is also available in the github and we have some social media pages you can follow to get the latest notification. And let's back to our main topic like how you can use the existing group category in a user level especially for the creating the groups right. So for that one you can go to the select uh, settings. So let me open any of the user profile and if you see here like you, you can see the user type, sales, accounting, then after administrator, student profile, last time we created this category, right? The technical and the extra, right? Let's say you want to add this boolean box under the technical, right? So for that, it, that is also possible. So for that one, like you have to check whether that technical category is created under the XML file or not, right? So for that, yeah, that is created, there are many categories created under the add-ons in the base module, in the data folder, and you can see IR model module categories. So you can see here we have a lot of categories available, all are the categories, and now like let's say you want to add under the technical, right, so for that you have to copy this xml id and this id should be available in our more in our xml file so here so let's say this is the first group right and i want to just change that one i want to display this school student school profile on the technical so for that you can Pass here this XML ID and the module name that's it and then after you can simple upgrade the module for that like I will try to upgrade using the file charm directly so while I will restart the service it will automatically upgrade the module if you don't know how to configure this one added one video in the editor level playlist and now I'm trying to refresh the page now you can see the there are three total groups were there right here and now there are two only so here you can see under the technical you can see here student school profile already added under this technical group category so let's say you want to do the same thing here right in extra right so we can that is also possible so first we have to find out here whether that is available or not that extra yeah so you can see the extra right here let me copy this id and i will make sure like i will pass here in the category underscore id and i will use here the bag module as a name because that xml id available in the bag module and i'm trying to refresh the page plus upgrade the module and now you can see one more oops so yeah so you can see one more group already removed from the existing one and then you can see here student school profile one and now you notice or if you create a new group right and having only one uh, sorry the group category right and under the one group you already created then it's automatically appear like this way only so it's updated as the other so let's say you want to add under this administrator right so that is possible but it can't be under here like that it should be like other then after the administrator something like that why because this is a combo box you can see it will create a combo box like this 
so here odoo automatically reject the request and it will display under the main other group category and here it will display that specific group name so let's try one more time so let's say the sales right so here we can see oh so all right so sales is not available so let me try with the accounting here let me copy this one and i will try to pass here and i will try to use that that's it and now i will try to upgrade the module i am trying to refresh the page and now you can see that accounting this it won't be add under accounting but you can see the accounting label is created under the other so that is the main difference here while you add only one group right uh, not one group but all the single groups like this the checkbox if you add here in this combo box uh, available in the combo box it won't be work like that way and here you can see you can also try to upgrade the existing record like this let's say the accounting if you go to here in the accounting data not the data but here in the security here you can see they actually update or let's say the override this group category so for that you can find out here that category also the invoicing right so you can see the sequence was for right but while you upgrade the accounting module so the sequence should be seven and they have like a different description as a tooltip so you can also update your existing group category like this way right so this is the basic idea about how you can also extend the security group category in this way also still you have any doubt related how to extend group category please comment below and see you in next session